Ladies and gentlemen, now today we've got a beginner's guide to the Solana blockchain, and this is my favorite of all of the blockchains to trade on currently, and if you've like just done anything on Solana, you'll understand why it's just the most user-friendly and enjoyable blockchain out there at the moment. In comparison to Ethereum, Ethereum is like a, a crusty, burned-out toaster that, you know, just doesn't really work and is so expensive on the gas fees, especially nowadays. Like every single transaction is anywhere between about 15 to about $100. It's just absolutely ridiculous. And anybody new coming into crypto looking to trade on Ethereum, man, is just having a very bad time. And alongside being very expensive, it's also like generally quite slow with transactions. Most transactions take anywhere uh, between like two to maybe like 60 minutes in some scenarios. So yeah, it really is a little bit crazy. Whereas Solana is super fast, man and this cannot be understated. It is by far the fastest blockchain out there. Uh, the fees are stupidly low. If you've got like $100 on Ethereum, that's maybe like one to five transactions, but $100 uh, on Solana is like transactions for the next like a thousand years in your family. It is just, it's crazy how efficient this network is, man. Uh, but yeah, it just, it feels great to use. And also one of the... um. Uh, the massive pros about Solana as well on the blockchain is they have the best crypto wallet out there, which is Phantom Wallet. And the reason why this wallet is so good, uh, if you've been on the Binance Smart Chain or traded on Ethereum, you'll be familiar with Metamask, which is like a very simple wallet. You know, it's nice, it's clean, but it doesn't have an NFT tab. So the Phantom Wallet actually has a tab where you can see all of your non-fungible tokens. And for three-dimensional assets, such as in-game assets, for example, you can actually, like, move them about you can zoom in you can like fully inspect them and it renders all the assets there now i have some uh solanimals here which again is not the most visually impressive asset but there are games building currently on the solana blockchain like star atlas where there are going to be like spaceship nfts and i think like having these in the wallet man is going to look very very cool but again solana is kind of this network where you've got um uh, like so many companies and developers and games and NFT projects building at the moment and I think over the course of the next like 6 to 24 months again if you're like big into crypto if you love better degen trading like you're going to want to know how Solana works and how to get involved uh, in some of these projects and drops as well so anyway we're going to start from the basics here the first thing you need uh, for the average person is to buy Solana on your centralized exchange so for example Binance, Coinbase FTX, like whatever exchange is the place that you buy a uh, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, anything, uh, this is the exchange you initially want to go for. And Solana's native token is called SOL, which is SOL there. So we're going to buy, um, uh, what is it, just over $1,000 in Sol here, uh, and then I'm going to send it to my Phantom Wallet, uh, and I'll show you guys the Phantom Wallet setup, but yeah, we're just going to hit buy on that, very, very simple there. Now, if you don't already have a Phantom Wallet, I'll put like a, a safe link to download it, uh, but essentially what you'll need to do is like add it to your uh, browser there, so we're just going to add it to Firefox, and then you, it's going to give you your seed phrase. Now, if you're new to crypto wallets, uh, you need to make sure that this seed phrase right here the secret recovery phrase you never show anybody this is like your biggest layer of security to the wallet uh, this is how people access it if they have the seed phrase again uh, there are ways that people can, you know, randomly guess and generate the password, but make sure you guard this secret recovery phrase or seed phrase with your life. Write it down on a piece of paper, keep it as safe as you possibly can, the most secure place you can possibly think of. This is where you want to keep the phrase, because if somebody has access to this phrase, then they can access your wallet. So this is the keys to your wallet here, man. Again, one of the biggest rules in crypto is not your keys, not your crypto. So by giving you the key keys here and giving you the phrase this is in your ownership it's your responsibility to guard this so yeah you want to go for this phrase create a password and that's pretty much it like that is the wallet set up and then you'll have a um 
uh, what is it, blank wallet here, uh, kind of no Solana in. So the first thing you need to do is receive Solana, uh, what is it, from your native exchange. So you want to collect deposit Solana, kind of get the code there for your wallet. Uh, it's going to be exactly the same one as your wallet address as well. So you can just like copy it up top. And then we want to go to the central exchange. We want to withdraw Solana that we just purchased there. We want to add in our Sol address. We want to go for the max withdrawal and we want to go withdraw. And then I'm going to put in my security stuff here and we're going to withdraw it to the Solana blockchain. All right, so I've just put in my password and there we go. We've got the, uh, what is it, disclaimer that it might take up to 12 hours. Uh, generally speaking, the Solana withdrawals are anywhere between about like two to five minutes generally, uh, at least in my experience. Again, withdrawing from an exchange, depending on the uh, uh, congestion, uh, can be like a little bit slower because uh, like it's not actually on the Solana blockchain yet. I believe anyway, it's the way it works. But again, I'm not the most technical person when it comes to this stuff, but making like peer-to-peer -peer transactions, say you're like uh, trading with somebody else, NFTs, for example, directly, uh, again, it is lightning fast, man. Transactions, once you get uh, your funds on the Solana blockchain, like stuff uh, is is pretty much instant peer-to-peer. -peer. Uh, and it, it feels good, man, especially when Ethereum is so slow. Uh, but you can see here, actually, I think that was about... Um, uh, what is it, a minute from the deposit? Uh, so we got the funds in our Solana wallet there, which is perfect. So what you can do uh, on Solana, so to familiarize um, people that have used like the Binance Smart Chain, used PancakeSwap, or used the Ethereum Chain, um, and used uh, Uniswap or SushiSwap, Radium is essentially the PancakeSwap, the Uniswap, the SushiSwap of the Solana blockchain. So if you're looking to get anything in particular like... um. Uh, USDC, you're looking to pick up a little bit of Cope, um, you know, tons of stuff is listed on here, not absolutely everything, but a lot of kind of the big uh, coins and programs, if you're looking for stuff on Solana, uh, are available via Radium, so again, this is just like a quick and easy way to swap like Solana for USDC, or anything else you might need for like certain applications on Solana, um, if you're looking to degen into NFT projects, there's a website that actually went live a couple of days ago called How Rare is which is like an nft rarity site uh, but also if you're looking for um uh, upcoming projects again it has like a big curated list of all of the nft drops uh they're actually happening on solana now when it comes to investing in nfts man like everything's a massive degen gamble and personally like i'm more focused on stuff that has like gaming utility as well i think there are certain projects like soul punks like the apes and solana monkey business that will do very well on solana in the future just because they're like a handful of the og projects that launched on solana and we We've seen on Ethereum some of the older projects such as CryptoPunks and also Board Ape Yacht Club uh, are just going for silly, silly amounts at the moment. But again, NFTs are all speculative uh, and many projects will go to zero. So if you are degening into NFTs, be very, very careful and make sure that you actually like the project um, and you're not just trying to go for a quick flip. Because uh, if it's an ugly looking project, has a terrible team behind it, again, I've seen uh, thousands of projects crash to zero or well below mint price when it does come to the um uh, Ethereum network. Uh, so yeah, this is a big list of like upcoming NFT projects and a really good place to get information uh, on loads of stuff that's dropping on Solana related to NFTs. Uh, there is also Soul Ape Swap as well, uh, which is like a really good uh, decentralized exchange if you prefer kind of the Binance, the exchange star format. So you can get loads of different pairs. Uh, literally like everything is on this one, man. So if you want to go fishing and find some stuff, there's some really good stuff there. Also, so uh, Solana Art uh, is an NFT marketplace, pretty much the... Um uh, the open seas currently of Solana. Uh, the fees are, are a little bit higher. The website's like really, really clean though. Um, however, there's like a couple more marketplaces currently building uh, with like lower fees in comparison. But also Solana being very new, again, there's lots of builders, lots of entrepreneurs. Uh, so by the time, if you're watching this video in like three months time, again, there might be a different, better marketplace. Uh, so yeah, just keep an eye on that. Again, there are several gaming projects currently building on Solana as well. Star Atlas is probably like one of the biggest ones just creating like this epic like space game um, Yeah, they've got so much stuff with Star Atlas and there's gonna be the pre-sale very soon as well uh, So that's gonna be one of the big things bringing in a lot of volume to Solana and a lot of new um 
uh, users onto the blockchain as well. So yeah, Star Atlas, absolutely huge. There's also a game I'm personally invested in here, Ninja Protocol. This is like a play to earn ninja game, but they're also building an NFT marketplace. They're doing like a decentralized exchange as well. And Ninja, man, they've just got a really great team of very uh, dedicated developers. And unlike the majority of crypto games out there, they actually have like a working product at the moment, uh, which is very, very rare in the crypto space. So yeah, personally, I'm a big fan of Ninja. I've been invested in this since like six cents and it's like almost 40 now. Uh, so yeah, uh, there's also Aurori as well, which is like a big gaming project that's currently, um, uh, preparing to do an NFT drop in the near future. If you're interested in gaming projects on Solana, and again, I think there's going to be a lot popping up in the next 12 months, uh, but this is definitely one of the first ones to have a bit of a look into. Uh, so the gameplay for this actually looks really, really clean. Uh, I think there's like lots of different like gameplay styles and elements shown, but I really like kind of the, uh, the look of the NFTs um, and also kind of just the open world like, you know, roaming about as well. It seems like it's going to be a bit of an interesting project uh, if they can get their development stuff in order. Uh, Solana Monkey Business is like one of the OG NFTs that dropped on um uh, Solana a few weeks back and yeah these just look really really cool I've got four of them man I minted about uh, 50 60 of them uh, and yeah I've just been like selling and degening and flipping them uh, for a little bit of fun as well but yeah these are these are really uh, a bit cheeky a little bit of fun as well uh, and there's also on the Solana website and if this is you know something you're looking to explore a little bit deeper there's like a huge bit about the ecosystem again myself personally I'm kind of mainly interested in NFTs and games but if you're looking into decent centralized finance, analytics, uh, all sorts of like crazy stuff. There's like a massive list of all the projects that are uh, available on Solana. So if we go to, uh, what is it, NFTs, I think we can see some more stuff in particular. There's stuff like Soul Animals as well. Uh, so those are the, the cats that I was showing earlier in my wallet. Soul Life, Salamas, uh, DeFi Land, of course, Scallop, uh, Solarians. Um, yeah, there's just so much additional stuff uh, that's currently building on Solana. And as more people kind of realize like how much better this blockchain is uh, in comparison to Ethereum, at least until the release of Ethereum, 2.0. Uh, I think there's going to be like a lot of excitement, a lot of interest around Solana. Uh, and as more NFT projects have been um, uh, opening up, this has really like led to Solana, as you can see on the chart right here, man. You know, so it had a parabolic increase. I've been like investing in Solana projects for about like two to three months now, because uh, as soon as I started like playing around on this chain, I was like, dude, it's so much smoother. It's so much better in comparison to Ethereum and the Binance Smart Chain as well. I mean, the Binance Smart Chain feels like a hundred times better than Ethereum, uh, but you'll realize, uh, you know, doing transactions on Solana, if you're in investing in the right projects as well. Stuff is so fast, it's so incredibly smooth, and it just, it feels like the PS5 of blockchains, whereas Ethereum feels like a rusty, malfunctional toaster uh, that just tries to rip you off on every single transaction. But you know, that's my personal one. Uh, thoughts and perspective and if we have a look at like Solana's market cap as well just for you DGENs out there uh, the market cap currently sits at just over 20 billion US dollars and if we have a look at Ethereum's market cap uh, you know it's very close to about 400 billion so Solana in comparison I think is like just over 5% of Ethereum's total market cap but Ethereum it has the history it has so many developers so many projects on it and it has you know it has the the user base at the moment but i find like from a user perspective solana is just far far more enjoyable personally um but again uh that's just like my personal opinion uh but i i feel like you know if you've spent a while using the ethereum blockchain and you understand how um uh, not kind of user friendly it is currently and how much of like a whale trading uh, arena <laughs> it is uh, then Solana Solana's just like uh, it's just a good time man it just feels really really nice for your average user it's super fast it's super super cheap as well again the average transaction fee is like a very small fraction of a single cent uh, so again a hundred dollars on Solana you saw it for the next a thousand years uh, in terms of Solana transactions there uh, so yeah hopefully you enjoyed today's tutorial on how to um 
uh, gets that up on Solana uh, and hopefully it, you know, points you in the right direction. But again, always be very careful investing in anything. Uh, there are going to be so many like startups and projects that are made by very shady people. You know, it happens on every single blockchain out there. Make sure you trust the team, trust the developers. Uh, and it's a project that you really believe in moving forward before you invest any money. So yeah, be careful out there. And if you did enjoy today's video, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you all very much for watching. Take care. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day.